Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today I'm jumping into another classic AAA VR game from the past. I know from the comments that some of you did not even know that the last uh, AAA VR game from the past that I covered, which is Kronos from the developers of Remnant 1 and 2. Some of you did not even know that game existed in VR. This is another game from a really big game developer that you might not have heard of. Again, it's got AAA quality written all over it. It's a blast from the past. One of my top VR games of all time. I present to you Edge of Nowhere. This time I'm playing on the Quest Pro. I'm using Airlink to connect my PC. This game is only available on the Meta Store. Let's dive in. Okay, this looks really, hey, really man. nice. Do you see anything over there? I do, Victor. A new species of plant. Oh, no really? screen door. It's a handsome one, too. I'm naming it Victor Howardia. <laughs> Brilliant. We should be botanists. <laughs> Well, then this Chile trip would make a lot more sense. Wait, do you hear that? Ah! Edward? What is it? Ava, come back! Where's she gone? Hello? Ava? What's that growl? Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I forgot about the jump scare at the beginning. Oh, oh, okay, I'm in a plane. Fine. Hello, mate. Thank you. Just a by the sound, Windows are a bit steamy. Ava, someone special? You kept muttering that name. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Ah, one of those three. It's Simon Edwards is heading up the expedition. All right, uh, he's a hell of a man. Well, he used to be. You're not giving up on him yet, are you? I'm sure they're alone. I've got a full body. Okay, that's no good. I can't see anything. Are we in the clouds? Oh, mountains. We crashed. Edge of nowhere. By Insomniac Games. Who, I don't need to mention who they are. Okay, so this is like a third person adventure game. Very similar to Kronos. And I do believe both games came out around the same time. You don't have control over the camera, you can move your your main character with the thumbsticks. Originally this game was played with the Xbox controller. If I go to my options menu you'll see above me is the uh, Xbox controller. Back in the day we did not have the uh, motion controllers the last time I played this game was on the Oculus Rift CV1 and in the box was an Xbox controller. These controllers, the motion controllers, came a few months later after the uh, Oculus Rift S launch. Straight away I'm noticing um, the graphics have not lived up modern day standards they look a bit 
old school. It's probably the uh, right term to use here. I'm dead if I don't. These environments though look amazing still. I would say this art style does not quite match the quality of Kronos which still looks just as good today. So this game, the art style is taking a bit of a, a back burner for the moment and there's no options in the menu to change the graphics. Now if you wanted to you could go into uh, one of the Oculus apps to try to upscale the resolution which I know my good friend and uh, fellow VR content creator Dr. Greg did when he uh, streamed this game a few weeks back. But this is still a really good game. Move out of the way penguins. I am recording on the Quest Pro today. I've uh, learned my lesson from yesterday. I tried to record a PC game called Egression uh, with their link OBS, Oculus Mirror and my Quest Pro and my video was a bit of a, a jewelry mess. So to make sure I've got some new video for you guys today I'm recording on the Quest Pro. Nice Where is everyone? Journal of Captain Simon Edwards, December 11th, 1932, 4 p.m. Perhaps Ava was right after all. These mountains echo with an unseen energy. We can all feel it. There is a history here. This is where my life's work will be realized and my critics silenced. Looks like I'm following you into those mountains. I feel like the graphics are on low settings. Now the game's been updated to work with the uh, motion controllers as you can probably see. And the one thing this game does really, really well is the sense of height and scale. You get some really high drops later in the game. And just like the game Kronos, you're probably going to notice some references in this game compared to Insomniac's um, other games like Stormlands. There are some like... Um, plants in this game they also used in Stormland or Stormland. Now I'm used to the height in games now so the height is not affecting me anymore. But I do remember the first time I played this game these crevices looked amazing. This is a really cool trick how I can move the light with my head. So I'm in control of the, um, the light and everything. I was always a big fan of the ice sheets in this game. When you looked into the ice sheets you could see the 3D depth. So I'm really curious to see if um, I get the uh, same sensations. He's Calm shooting down. me. Let's talk about this for a moment. Stop talking. Grab the gun. Grab the shells. Okay, left trigger to aim. 
Don't make me do this. Shut up. I guess it's right trigger to shoot. God damn it. Inspect. What the hell happened to you? Still a great game. He must have used these to climb down. Okay, we have the first ice sheet. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I remember back in the day, the first time I played this game, looking down, my legs turned to jelly with the height. I'm so used to it now. Five years doing VR, playing games with height. You do get used to it. So VR is a really good game for like um, attacking your phobias, I would say. If you're scared of spiders, probably play a lot more games with spiders in them. Huh. Oh man, not as easy as it used to be. Hopefully the rest of the team is alright. That man was probably delusional from scurvy or maybe hypothermia. I've not been on a plane since I've been doing VR and I used to be scared of planes, scared of the height, so I'm probably curious to see how I would cope. What? This game is going to mess with your mind as well. So inside this ice cave is a house, very similar to the house in Returnal. So let's go and check it out. It's gone. There's a really nice layer of mist on the ground as well. About two feet off the ground. I can see you. Something in there with lots of eyes. It's gone. Did you see it? So there should be some sections later on where I get a good look at these uh, ice sheets up close. You cannot <sighs> fall back into this, Victor. Open the door. <clears throat> Stay the hell away from me, Edwards. I'm not your damn protege anymore. That's not possible. It's nice not having the screen door anymore on the latest headset. I said get off! Oof. Inspect. Cool effect. Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Now I'm seeing things. Did one on me. It was just the radio. I still like my uh, snow in VR games. Okay, so this guy's got loads of maggots on him. Journal of Hernan Castillo, December 12th. Weird worms. This place has claimed its first victim. Evans foolishly neared a strange plant, but was quickly met by its protruding thorns, drawing him in with its hypnotic pulsing, and then 
strike. Almost as if the plant was hunting. What did you get your team into, Edwards? So we hold down the uh, index menu to bring up the to bring up like the manual. We can flip pages up. Items collected. Okay, this looks really cool still. I can see the uh, the depth of the ice in the ice wall. <sighs> Something's off about this ground. If you ever play Stormland, you'll you'll know these plants. Try not to get spiked. Okay, I need to throw a rock. I can sneak past while the spikes are retracting. Must be some sort of prehistoric plant. The aggression is remarkable. Got the rocks, we'll need them for later. This game for me has got a really cool Cloverfield moment later on. Journal of Colin McCleary, December 1932. Some top-notch crew Edwards assembled. Most of them are losing their wits after what happened to Evans. Then there's that Chilean fellow, Hernan. According to Edwards, he's vital for understanding the grand evolution of this place. Whatever the hell that means. I trust him as far as I can throw him. Makes sense that Edwards keeps company with him. He's looking at me as I write these words. Wild eyes, this one. No doubt the rest of them is too. Or none. I never understood why Edwards spoke so highly of that crackpot. <laughs> this is one of those moments where the hide used to get to me. Slowly learning the mechanics. Ooh. Whoa. This bridge doesn't look so good. I'll need to get across quick. Still a lot of cool atmosphere oh, no. in these caves. Ooh. Okay, we need to be careful here, the ice is all cracking. There's a really cool waterfall. 
Five years ago, this was amazing. I love to see like a remake or remaster with up-to-date graphics. Maybe one day. Damn it, can't stop. The ice still looks amazing. Maybe I can break through. This is. Huh? I've seen that symbol before. I remember it being on Edward's blackboard. What could have done this? Slowly unraveling the mystery. There's some creatures in here now. They're all over. We can kill them with the pickaxe. Shadows. You have to come see this. This is not real. It's here. Everything we've been searching for. I did not realize this was like a behind the shoulders experience. I thought I could move the camera around, but I was wrong. The uh, camera's static. Ugh, what made these things? What oh crap. <laughs> Grab. Ooh. That was okay. What? Don't die now. Okay, the ice is falling. Ooh. Still awesome effect. Time to run. Run mate. Monster thing. Made it. What? What the hell were 
are those things? Still really cool sound effects. I love staring in VR. I just live for moments like this with the snow. I just need to rest a minute. Yes, you lie down, mate. You have a nap. If I'm going to find her, I need to stay focused. Yet it is growing harder to separate the real from the imagined. I fear this may be due to a concussion suffered by the crash. I can't seem to shake the horrors I've witnessed. The threat of those creatures was no illusion. Is it possible? Have I misjudged Captain Edwards? His theories about a missing ancient species were enough to drive away most of his colleagues. But his claim that these creatures were actually still alive? Well, that destroyed every ounce of his credibility. He was hugely influential to Ava and me. And we did see validity in his research. But even we couldn't get on board with the theory. Now I'm convinced. Edwards was right all along. Oh, crap. If you like games like Max Payne, this has got like a Max Payne Hello? type of vibe to Hello? it. Hello? Daniels? Is anyone there? This is an emergency. Please, someone. Victor! Oh my god, a a Ava, is that you? This, this is impossible. How are you here? Edwards missed his check-in, so I hopped on the first rescue plane. I heard you joined his expedition. Yes. Sorry I didn't tell you. I flew out here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I couldn't let Edwards have this. Well, he can keep it. We need to leave. Not yet. We're so close. There's something at the center of this place. Help me find it, please. Uh, I don't know. We should be the ones who make this discovery, Victor. I'll meet you there. Just be on guard, will you? Always. We're about four kilometers north of the camp. I'll wait for you. That's a nasty crevasse. First time we've talked in a while. That's right. Maybe a shame to walk away from such a huge discovery. All the research has led us here. That's Ava's journal. Journal of Ava Thorne, December 12th, 1932, 10.02 a.m. My rudder iced over on descent, landed off course near a strange settlement of sorts. Much to his displeasure, I'm sure, I still managed to rendezvous with Edwards and his team, or what's left of it. Team members were killed, apparently attacked by some creatures. No one's talking about them. Something's just a little bizarre with the whole team. I bet Edwards wasn't happy to see her show up. Something VR does really, really well is the height. To keep looking up. Did you actually inside the game? Mind the ice pool. That was a close one. Whoa. Okay, that's a big jump. Yeah. 
very uh, Tomb Raider like as well. Crap, I nearly forgot to um, hook on there. I nearly died. And that's a long way down. That's a very, very long way down. Huh. Never thought I'd be so happy to see flat ground. Oh crap, being chased by a monster. I see you, observe, I don't have that button. Okay, hold down the right thumbstick. Keep away from the puddles. Got the rocks. I see the people. Med kit. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, God. They still look amazing. They can't see me. Fantastic animation. Blind. Need to distract it. Rock might do the trick. These guys are uh, detect sound as well, so when you move on the ground look, you have to uh, be careful not to make any sound. I should be able to throw a rock. Uh, he found me. I'm dead. I should have planned that better. Blind. Need to distract it. The rock might do the trick. <laughs> they are chasing me. Run, 3D, run! Run! Can we survive? I missed the journal piece, but. I had to run there. It was do or die, so I had to do.
I just noticed all the ice in the uh, ceiling. Come on, Victor, you can make it. You got this, mate. Where are we going? Around here. Up and across. I can see the light. Safe and sound, back oh, outside. Way out of here. December 1932. I just found a way to connect our radios together as an array to boost our signal. But does anyone care? No. Just because Cinders had to go and rip his eyes out. Not one peep of gratitude or acknowledgement of the impossible act I just pulled off with mere wires and intuition. Don't even know why I let Edwards drag me on another ghost hunt. I'm not the only one having second thoughts either. We're getting to that point where something's got to give. What could possibly drive someone to do that? That's a nasty worm infection. more frequent. Made it, mate. This place is out to get me. That was awesome. Everything is awesome. <sighs> Back into the caves. Not good. Are you there? Yes, sir. Where are you? I think I'm getting closer to the center. What has been constructed here? It's incredible. I know. Everything we hoped for. Keep heading. Ava? Ava? What was that? Ava? Hello? Are you there? Damn it! What happened? <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been 
Like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? As I was walking from the, the the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Doctor Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around, and I went up to approach him. <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something, but I actually just went, <laughs> I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You tried to salvage it, Nathy. <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that roast! Hey. Hello. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. Might want to break there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. Yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> she's really. His eyes have been fixed. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the oh, yeah, PD off there. track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, sorry, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. It's over, man. Jack. It's over. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally thrown off by that. What is Blissful Life to be looking? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.